be that? I say who be that to touch a bandage? You know if you answer questions. I say who be that? Ah. Where is Ebi? Does she Ambla just carry go now? Nah? Ebi, my sister. Ambla. Okay. Madam, madam, come talk to me. Wait till they all call. I mean, which kind of wallet are you for now? Ah. Mama. I thought we agreed that you will quit drinking. Look, madam, the interaction of alcohol with your antidepressants will make your medication less effective. And it can be even more harmful to your system. I've stopped taking the medication. Huh? Because it's not working for me. And because because these sessions feel like a waste of time. I, uh -huh. I need this alcohol because I'm, I'm under a lot of stress and pressure. Uh -huh. Okay. Then we have to start from the very beginning. All over again. Oh, yes. From the very beginning. So tell me about your background. I said it before. I'm one of my father's two daughters. I will enter his gate with thanks given in my heart. I will enter his court with praise. My dad used to own a church where my mom was a lead chorister. So, like I said, I got my singing gift from my mom. That's not far fetched. Cloud up in the sky, I'll be your shoulder when you cry. I hear your voices when you call me. I am your angel, and when all hope is gone, I'm here. No matter how far you are, I'm near. It makes no difference who you are. I am your angel, I am your angel. At barely 18, I already started making impression at auditions. Like I told you, I got my major break right after university. I sank myself into getting signed by a record label. I was, I 
was golden, full of life and I was ready to explore. Thank you. Oh, my God. oh. oh. I forgot my purse at home. Mm. Oh. Uh, uh. Can I come back and pay for this? I'm sorry, ma. We don't sell on credit. I know, but I'm your regular customer. I'll be back. I'm sorry. We don't. They don't allow it. What the hey, so what will I do? The food is made already. There's nothing I can do. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, madam, I'll, so, I'll pay for it. Okay. How much is it? Two five. Okay. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Sorry. Hi. Thanks a lot. Can I get, please, can I get a, a piece of paper so I can do a refund back to you? Thank you. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, <laughs> okay, so I, I don't, <laughs> I don't want for this to sound like what I, what men do, but um, I'd rather actually be your friend oh. than be the guy that you owe some money to find. <laughs> okay, okay. I'd like to owe you something. Okay. And then I met a friend. He was the most beautiful man I had ever seen. He sure had his way with his voice. Um, my name is Fred, by the way. Hi, friend. Um, What's yours? I'm sorry? Your name? Sorry. I'm so sorry. My name is Ebi. Ebi. Hi, Ebi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hi. You are my heart. I'll hold on to this. Okay, I'll hold on to this. Thank you. Daddy, it was mad. <laughs> I can't wait for it to be mastered. I am sure it will definitely make sense to the pharmaceutical company. Are you sure? Yes. You were on point. Trust me, we have no worries. I mean, I was there thinking I was doing rubbish. We have no worries. It was on point. Hmm. If you say so. I can do it again. You don't have to. That was good. It's on point. They're going to like it. I'm okay. your manager now, trust me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what next? I cannot believe that Vineyard Pharmaceutical Companies will say yes to our proposal. Believe it, girl. We are now rolling with the best. This will be the best time for me to pay for that voice lesson I was talking about. Or go on a shopping spree. So we're in money, but let's put priority first. Yes, now we've been waiting for this. Now there's the money, we can do that. Hey, I am your manager, and I am advising you to put fun first, mm. at least for tonight, and a few extra. Look at her, talking like my mom. Please. Wait, 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 wait a second. Sorry. Second. Hello? Hi. Yes, we got it. Thank you so much, yes. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah, I'm with my best friend slash manager, and she's taking me somewhere to celebrate. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll let you know when I get home then. Great, great. All right. Who was that? <laughs> the guy, the one I told you about. The one who paid for the food and then paid my way. Oh. The cab oh. to the studio. Oh, Mr. Prince Charming. <laughs> What's swear. up with you guys now? Nothing really, nothing, nothing really. That call did not sound like nothing much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're in tabs, we're in touch, and just keeping tabs. Just tabs? Mm -hmm. Just tabs? <sighs> he has invited me over to his house. He says he's a professional chef, and he has this special jollof recipe he wants me to come and taste, so. Fantastic, so when? <laughs> it's not fantastic, babe, going to a guy's yeah. house on a first date in his house. Someone I just met. Relax. Can you stop walking for like five seconds, please? You're sounding like my mom. You're sounding exactly like my mom. Go and bring baby, go and get pregnant, go and marry, go and... I have to find love, Sha, because she's on my neck. Yes, I know. that is more reason you should go on this date. This guy seems perfect. I don't even know what to say. He seems perfect. You don't have to think about it. Let's just get on with plan, you know. You do it. Huh. <laughs> Meantime, let me quickly book that training, the boot camp for the voice mimic thing. Mm, that boot camp is after the date or after the date. The date is secure. I would, mm -hmm. I'm, we're still talking tonight. I'll call him. All right, and I'll just send the email to the pharmaceutical company as well. Okay. Who is it? <clears throat> Hi. Welcome. It's a very nice place you have here. Thank you very much. You look very delectable today. Thank you. You know, I was going to make a whole fuss about you coming late and everything, but seeing as you look as you do, I think I might find some space in my heart to forgive you. I'm sorry. It's all right, it's fine. This one time. This one time? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, no, I don't drink alcohol. Oh, you don't? No. Okay. It's quite mild. No. <coughs> Actually, I was done cooking about an hour ago, so... I'm sorry, I got caught up in traffic. Yeah, you mentioned that, it's fine. So I'll get the food now. Okay. Okay. Okay.
That painting is from eight years ago. I used to be an art collector. She looks scary. <sighs> well, that's what a lot of people say. But if you're able to look past the pain, maybe you'll appreciate the art. Mm -hmm. Shall we? That's good. <laughs> Too high for you? Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> non alcoholic or alcoholic? Well, you just have to trust me in this one. Why don't you go ahead and taste the food? I agree with you. I mean, that should be why you're in business with the biggest hospitality business. Cheers. Cheers. This is this is yummy. Okay. <laughs> this is delicious. Are you gonna ask me what my secret is? So what's your secret? Well, not like I'm teaching any master class or anything, but I'd say that my biggest secret is paying attention to the very littlest things, because those things matter. Hmm. Just the same way I'm paying very rapt attention to how your face glows up every time your lips <laughs> so you smile and that adorable diastema that you have. Let me eat. Okay. <laughs> I'll join you. Forgive me for not having a night. It's okay. Bachelor style. This is Indian style. <laughs> <laughs> Close to high knees. Seven is a perfect table. Hmm? And that was it. He couldn't have been more loving. It was perfect. He loved everything that I loved. He understood my work. He still understands my work. Sometimes even more than I do, I think. I don't know. And thank you for believing in me. Anytime. Nice work, girl. I already sent the raw version to the HR. <gasps> you did? They loved it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my best friend. That's my best friend. Yes. You already did? Yes, just now. Just <sighs> See how he, what I say about you guys pushing me. Both of you just motivating me, yeah. making me feel like I. <laughs> you guys make me feel like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> you know what you're doing. Trust me, that's the least I can do. You know why I'm on this earth? Maybe mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. I was brought here, planted here, groomed to love you. <laughs> Stop. To let you shine. Stop. Not to step in your way. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I beg you, make me <sighs> carry on myself, go one side, and I let all single breeze. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Ha! I'm ready to go one more session. Ah. Engineer, can I come one more session? <laughs> Yay. Go star girl. Whew. You don't like the place? No, of course I like it. It's nice. You sure? Yeah. I mean, if you want us to go somewhere else. <laughs> no, it's nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm just hungry. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. <clears throat> uh, I just need to use the restroom. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll be back. Now, we haven't made our order yet. The gentleman would you please for the order earlier? Oh, we did? Okay, thank you. Yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, I'm hungry. I'll start off. But, uh, oh my god. I, I was hoping you'd be more surprised. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. Oh, I was so surprised. Uh, of course, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Of course. I'm so sorry. She she must have. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was yes, supposed to be here. <laughs> Maybe here. Yes. Can I hold your hand? Yes. Um. I'm really sorry. Uh, yes, I haven't sorry. done this before. <sighs> so you see, um, when people love each other like we, let me speak for myself. When someone loves another like I do you, I think the next thing to do is to want to start a family, get married. So, um, oh, fuck it, I'm sweating. I'm sorry. So, um, I'm hoping that you would say yes to being Mrs. Lawson. I, I really do love you, Ebi. <laughs> And you're perfect for me. Say yes. I mean, you can think about it. I know, I know this feels sudden and, and uh, all over the place, but uh, I, just, I just wanted to ask if you would like the ring of Ibiye Lawson. Thank you, Father, for today. Thank you for a successful ceremony today. Indeed, Lord, you are present and you're faithful. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Lawson. <laughs> Finally. Mm -hmm. Come to Mrs. Lawson. You're one and only. I'm finally your wife. Right. Mm hmm What was that stunt your friend pulled today? I was meaning to ask you. Stunt? Yeah, Sarah. Why did she give my full name to the singers? Even when she knew that I said, that the few family members of mine that would be attending has no idea that I've changed my last name. Oh, I'm, I'm sure she didn't know. She had no idea. Mr. Law saying she had no idea. She doesn't know. Such a dummy. Fred, come on. Are you taking sides with her? No. But you know Sarah has been nothing but supportive all the way during our plans. And I'm sure she, she didn't know that your family didn't know all of those things. Come on, what's wrong with you? Babe. What? Listen, I'm seriously reconsidering letting you be friends with that lady. Friend? I'm serious. She's just too forward for my liking. Please. What? I'm gonna have a shower. I mean, I should have seen his unwarranted burst out as a red flag, but... I just chose to blame it on the fatigue and exhaustions that come with a wedding day. <laughs> and then again, afterwards, he became so sweet. <laughs> Especially when he found out that I was with his child. Da-da-da-da-da. 
da 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 what are you doing folding these clothes? Didn't I tell you I was going to do all of this when I was done with the parlor? You did. So why are you doing them? I don't want to stress you. Oh my God. Stress? Mm -hmm. You're sitting on my clothes. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Say, I will do work when I don't do. So you were saying about stress? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me make this very clear. Okay. The very purpose of my existence. Mm -hmm. The reason why God has placed me on this earth. Yes. The reason why I am here right now. Yes. Is to love you. And to spoil you. Mm -hmm. And to pamper you all mm -hmm. day long. So you can't stress me. Okay? Ah. Come here. Sit. So, mm. are you going to let me do the laundry now? Let me think. Please? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, I'll take that from you. And don't you worry that I don't know how to fold your clothes. Like okay. the one you folded last week. Oh, yeah, no. Run along. <laughs> I love you. I'm not going anywhere. Right here. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Watch me. <sighs> okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, did you just squeeze the armpit of that blouse? <laughs> Ta da! Perfect. Yeah. That's what's important. There couldn't have been a much perfect man. I love you. You stand so tall like a god. But things started to take a different turn after Fred suffered a major career setback at work. He never fails, he never falters, he rescues me every time I He knows my needs, he'll always rescue. He never fails me every time that I call. He never fails, God never falters, he knows my What's going on? What happened? Besides that I that I had just acquired the one that was proposed for the restaurant. Yes. The government just seized it today. He said it's it's government land and the person that sold it to me wasn't supposed to have sold it to me and all of that jargon. I'm so sorry, Fred. Fred this is Time flew by like nobody's business. And that little setback meant that Fred had lost a lot of his savings. But he wasn't ready to start all over from the scratch again. Where are you coming from? 
I went for a jog. I've been doing that a few mornings now. You went for a jog? <laughs> I hope you know that, fit fam or not, you're never going to get that your banging celebrity singer body back. Hope you know that one, Sha. <laughs> What's for breakfast? I was thinking we can eat out today. There's this new restaurant down the road. And then I was thinking maybe while we're there, we can talk to the management. You know, if they might have an opening for you. Hmm. <laughs> if you prefer for me to cook, I, I can cook. I can cook. You want to eat out? Breakfast? Family woman? How many couples do you see in restaurants early in the morning? And then you were thinking that they would have an opening for me. So you want me to work in a mere fast food? Is that it? My friend. No, I was, I was just, I was trying to be of help. Trying to help? Really? By asking me to drop my prestige? to work in a mere fast food. That's what. Right. You must be thinking too highly of yourself. You must be holding yourself in very high regard. This high place. regard me. Of course. Fred, I was thinking this place is not too far from the house. Okay. You can just go there and use it to while away time. I was, I was just trying to be helpful. Ah, as a useless man, I should while away time. Is that how much my presence in this house is irritating you? Because you are sorting one or two bills out in this house, then you're not telling me what to do, when to do, how to do. Hmm? Abby. Now listen, let today be the first and the last time you are ever going to try to help me in this life. Do you understand me? What makes you even think can help me in the first place? Look, Abby, let me tell you. You see all of this? This is just a temporary step back. Right. Me, me, me. I will bounce back. I know. I said I will bounce back, okay? Are you bringing the food or what? Sorry. Sorry, sorry. I was just trying to be helpful. Just. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, are they, what are they doing? Look. Hey, I'm all set. Where are you going? The meeting with Sarah I told you about with the promoters. How come I don't remember any of that? I don't know. We talked about it. No, we? Yes, we. We talked about it. Don't tell me you don't remember. Unfortunately, I don't. OK. Hold on. Why are you dressed like that? Why are you wearing that short dress? Seriously, why? Are you serious? Yeah. Why? Besides, what time is it? Why would your family woman be going out by this time? Hey, what are you doing? It's a, it's a dinner. It's a business dinner. Dinner, dinner is in the evening. And this is my brand, you know that. I've not done anything out of place here. Business dinner? That's the new name for what Sarah is trying to cope you into. She's trying to get you, to recruit you into doing what she does. No. Sleeping with married men, people with, you, you know, really in front of the large tummies. Why are you talking like that in front of the children? You know Sarah is my manager, she's not that kind of person. Oh, you know really? that. Yes, you know. Really? Maybe you're not going anywhere. Hmm? <laughs> Are you trying to like play some prank on me or catch some vibes with me or what? Play some I'm prank. running late now. Maybe will you go upstairs and remove this nonsense you're wearing? Fred, what's what are you doing? What's wrong with you? I won't repeat myself. My decision is finally be here. Fred, what's the meaning of this? What's the meaning of what? Go upstairs, remove this thing. But Fred... Fred, we talked about this. Why are you acting like you can't remember? Fred. <sighs> Fred. <laughs> That's so funny. Isn't that funny? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh my god. after standing me up yesterday. Sorry. You made me look like a fool before the clients. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry? Hey, Come B, inside, what's going girl. on? Come inside. Come sit down. Wait. So you are saying Fred insisted you should go eat out? and you decided to cancel an important meeting with a top client. Sort of. Make it make sense to me. Uh, I think it w I probably even made a mistake. I didn't manage my time more yesterday. I don't think it was because of the dinner per se. I think I made a mistake. Hi. Hi, Fred. I think it was my fault. I didn't plan my time well. I thought after the dinner, if I could just make sure the dinner probably happened a little earlier, I'll then come to you. Or shh, I think I, I didn't just calculate well. anyhow somebody she's my manager oh and mm. she came here to follow up with what what, what i missed yesterday what you missed yesterday she came to follow up as a evangelism or as what look look let me tell you it's high time i stop you from hanging out with all these stupid nobodies sorry but this is work Fred. can't you sense her jealousy eh? can't you sense her jealousy you are doing well. You have money. You are the one that has the talent for the music. You have a good man. What, 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 what nonsense does she have to show? She probably even started out as a singer too. And then she failed and now she's managing you. Okay, this time she only came because I didn't show up yesterday. Oh, please shut up. So, so you think I'm wrong? No, friend. No, 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 no. Everybody but else. Everybody else is right. But your husband. I didn't say you're wrong. Okay, I you always listen to you, but this time she only tried to follow up. Just do what you want to do. Fred, come on. You're the one with the music talents now. Are you not the one? Oh, yeah. Just do what you want. Since you are the wisest, Metu Sela, or maybe Solomon. Fred. Fred, come now. It's come, not like. Come I'm... for what? And now I'm sitting down in my living room, drinking my juice, discussing me with your friend. Abby? Ah, in the air. It's all right.
He didn't talk to me for the next three days. The same petty strategy he uses every time I don't agree with him on an issue. Even when I am almost sure I am right, I start to doubt myself. Bing? Bing, Bing. And are you still angry with me? Fred, look. Okay. You want me to stop being friends with Sarah? All right, yes, I accept. But where am I going to get somebody else who understands my career paths like she does? I can be your manager. I can manage you. At least you can't say that I don't know anything about your industry. It's this is just, there's a bit of... Are you saying I can't manage you? No, I'm not saying you can't manage me, but she's been doing this for a long time and you... Sometimes you change some things. That could be what's missing. I'm definitely more passionate than anybody about your success. So are you saying yes? Yeah. Are you yeah? It's not sounding very sure. Oh, yes. I mean, yes. If there are no more fights, yes, well, we'll work it out. No more fights. <laughs> 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 I never knew how dangerous you could be. I should have stood my ground. But again, I let him manipulate me into thinking he knew what was best for me. Four additional years flew by and my life had taken another dimension. Babe, is that the tower in his company? Yeah. Have they said anything? What do they say? It's not looking good. We didn't get a deal. This is the sixth consecutive deal we've lost. Don't think too much about it, okay? Just move on. Move on? Yeah. <sighs> Babe, look, this industry they have chosen, it's very competitive. Every day there's a new sensation on the internet or somewhere, you know? <laughs> These companies, they would always just pick or choose either this person or that person. So I think right now what we need is to ensure financial stability. You know, if we can open like a restaurant, like you know the one that the government took from me now, you get if we can invest all of our funds, like pull heads together, make the, make it happen. We have like a very nice restaurant and you can cook. Ah, everybody will come. Did you get that way? We'll just be packing money, packing money, packing money, and before you know it, ah, we'll just pump all that money back into your career, and boom, you know, you can do what you want, PR wise, all of those things. Don't let it get to you, okay? Let's just pull our resources together. You know, I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You can do better than that now. Yes. Hmm? Yes. My superstar. But we can email them again. Just leave them. Let's let's do this restaurant business. Hmm? Yeah. You 
you'll be fine. My superstar. I let him convince me once again. I threw away my entire career just because he made it sound like it's a noble sacrifice to make for the family. I don't know if I was stupid. Oh, I didn't just see that he, he manipulated me to seeing his dream come true. While I had to throw mine under the bus. Babe! Yes? Babe! Huh? Baby, guess what? What? Did you remember that foreign pastry company that I've been pestering for Yes, months yes. To come and put their stand in our fast food. <laughs> yes, Babe. yes, what? The chief executive officer just called me. Yes! He just called me. Guess what he said? What he say? He wants me to come to this this uh, banquet to mm. talk to the top executives. <laughs> and that they just they just don't want to be. I mean, they, they, they want to be sure that it's not just the location that's attracting them, but I have the personality to lead their catering team. Talk to me! Yes! Guess <laughs> what? Yes. Babe, yes. I want you to come with me. Yes. Yes. You know why now? You know why? I'm just sitting with you. Fine girl! <laughs> <laughs> they will know that I have the capability of being responsible. They won't try. And they try me. I'm so happy, boss. <laughs> I'm happy, I'm happy. Yes, we'll go. Look. Yes. If this collaboration works out. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Talk to me. You know me now. Talk to me. Money spend that. <laughs> Let me tell you. You will never, you will never have to work another day in your life. Trust me. We don't make that piece. You too like work. I will spoil you. There's nothing you can do about it. You're not going to work anymore. Baby, smile now. <laughs> hey, God. Babe, look, London to Toronto to Tokyo to Timbuktu to. You don't want it. Come on. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Mochi said that Beatty had refused to eat, so I had to go and feed her myself. I'm so sorry about tonight. It's fine. I guess the executives already had their mind made up on the meeting tonight. All that banquet invitation and everything was just a mere formality. I guess it's in their culture to reject people face to face. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. Everything will be okay. Everything will be fine. We'll find a way. It's fine. I'm sorry. It's okay. What's wrong? I've just been here thinking. Okay. And you know what? It's all your fault. My fault? Yes. You needed to have seen yourself yesterday at the banquet, where you made a complete nuisance of yourself after getting drunk. Drunk? Drunk? You don't even remember. You don't re <laughs> Okay. You were basically flirting with all the male executives at the banquet yesterday. What 
are you talking about? Why are you always acting so oblivious of what you did? I, I don't understand. I'm very sure you're the reason I didn't get that deal over the line yesterday. Fred! Fred, I, I, can't, I came back exactly the way I left. I had only one glass of wine, Fred. You, you said it yourself, remember? You said executives had already made their decision and that that dinner was mere formality. You said it. Oh, wow. So now you're reminding me what I said. No, no, seriously. You, of all people, you that doesn't even remember that you were too drunk yesterday. I was not drunk. You know, I think, I think maybe what you would have wanted me to have said or what you heard, what you think you heard me say yesterday was merely because I was trying to be supportive because you said that you, you, were, you, were, you were hungover. Maybe. You know what? I've, 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 I've been thinking about this thing and, and yesterday just confirms it for me. I don't think it's a good idea to take you to any more parties. Fred, what is... Listen, anything that involves you and I outside, cancelled. What is going on, Fred? I had just one glass of wine, you know that. What? I wasn't drunk. Oh my God, what have I done? I wasn't drunk. Hey, gosh. What is this? What's, I had just one glass. I don't understand. Yes, I, I I did talk to some people at the party, I remember. But I, I wasn't so drunk that I would even out flirt with them. Do you think he's lying? At this point, I don't know. Maybe you need to see a therapist. Therapist? Mommy, therapist. Fred called earlier. He said you have been acting strange for for a few weeks now. So Fred called you? Yes, he called because he wants the best for you. He was so sweet on the phone. I think you need to take his advice and go see a therapist. He said, please. Daddy, daddy, good morning. Hi. How are you, my angel? Fine. Did you guys sleep well? Yes, Daddy. Are we set for school? Yes, Daddy. Okay, wait for mommy, okay? Okay. Has anyone seen my phone? Have you checked the room? That's where you always leave it now. No, I'm just coming from there. It's not there. Just check very well. If I come now, I'll see it. You know you're very careless. No, 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 no. I have it. Just check the room, Epi. Please. Okay, but can you please help me check around you? If what is here? My phone. I think I left what it. What would your phone be doing on my work desk? Oh. Can't you see that it's just work equipment that be documents that is here? Sorry. I'm just... I miss Martin, sorry. the phone your mother is looking for. Oh, Mama used to forget things. Oh, I thought I was the only one that knew. Um, Pearl? Yes, Daddy? Please remember to tell your mother to put your spoon in your lunchbox. Okay, Daddy. You know she forgot the last time, right? Yes. So remind her. Oh, my days. I still can't Mommy, find Mommy, is that not your phone over there? Where? There. I just searched this place now. I did. Of course you did. Mommy, don't forget to put our spoon inside our lunchbox. You forgot the last time. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I thought this is so weird. I put I put your spoons in your lunch bo box now. I'm so sure I did. Thank you. Let me check. 
cheese now. There's no time. There's no, no time. I'm very sure I put the spoons in there. There's just, no just, time. I'm just then... checking to be sure now. Okay, check. Madam, it's there. It's sure. there. Let's go. Let's go. It's there. It's there. Come on. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. I, I, I'm telling you, I left the phone here. Yeah, that's what you always say. <sighs> Fair and I'm sorry. Bye, Bye my sorry, love. Girls. Sorry, sorry, girls. Bye. Bye. Please don't forget them, mom. No. <laughs> Don't forget your own children. I hope you find your way back to the house. Oh! Who did this now? What happened? You scared me. What happened? Who broke that? Who broke that? Yes? Abby, who broke that? Fred, what? Abby, who did this? I don't know. I don't know. How many of us are in this house, Abby? Who did this? Oh, Fred, easy now. I don't know. I don't know. You don't know? I was the last person that touched it, but I, I, I cleaned it. That's what I did. Exactly. Exactly what I'm asking, because I know that you cleaned this. So who did this, Abby? Hey. Fred, take it easy. I don't know. Maybe the children did. Oh! So now you're going to pass the blame to small children because they can't defend themselves. You stand by and watch me discipline them because something that you did, Abby. We both know that my children are not clumsy. They're not clumsy like you. And they're definitely not, not uh, by, by, bipolar. Fred, bipolar? Me? Me? So what is it? I'm, I'm, I'm not bipolar. I'm so, I don't like this look you're giving me. What is it? Just look at yourself. Look at your eyes. See, it's moving around like touch lights. You're not even believing the words that are coming out of your mouth. Fred, I didn't break this thing now. How will you remember, Abby? You're always forgetting things. Eh? Has it gotten to the level where you break things and you pass the blame to my innocent children? Look, I don't know how you intend to do it. But fix this painting. I don't think I broke. I don't think I was the one that broke this thing. I don't think I broke this thing. Look, baby, this is your forgetfulness. It's becoming too much. Okay? It's becoming way too much. Frederick, I did not break this. How can you break something and forget that you broke it five minutes after? What nonsense? But the way he's reacting, I don't, I don't think I broke this thing. I came and I cleaned. I didn't touch anything else. I might have broken this thing and I just don't remember, but I don't, I don't think I did anything like that. What do I do now? I think. I wanna be free. Free. From this chains that holding me down free. I wanna break free, free. From this pain Free Abby Abby What? What do you mean by you have not been working? <laughs> Somebody had to make the sacrifice to stay with the children now. I don't understand. You only have one child now. When you have more than one child, you would understand. No, I won't. Because I will never give in to the idea of being a full-time housewife. Mm. Yes. Me and Fred agreed on this, though. Baby, what is going on? Nothing. You've you asked seem... me several times. Nothing. You don't seem happy. Because I'm happy now. No, you don't <laughs> look like it. <sighs> How is Fred, by the way? He's fine. Fred is okay. They started that uh, restaurant we talked about. It's really working hard for us. Just okay. too many fights. 
and it's me. Today now I broke a strap of his wristwatch. The other time it was this, this very important artwork. You know, I, I used to be clumsy, but now it's, it's really bad. I am so clumsy now. But He complains about everything. You know his fault, so it's me. I'm really clumsy now. Really clumsy, really. No, no, no. All this that you just dated shouldn't be reasons why you should get into fights. Babe, I have to go, I have to go. What? Hey, I have to go. No, you ha Wait! Time has really passed, I have to go. Ebi. I'll call you now. Ebi. I'll call you. <laughs> hey, where'd you put my nylon bag? Grocery shopping. Ebi, eh? Eh? How many hours now? What took you so long? I ran into Sarah. Sarah? Same Sarah. Oh. <laughs> She's even married now and she has a kid. Do you know that you're an ungrateful brat? My friend, why would you say something no, 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 like that? No, 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 I'm just being honest because you are very, very ungrateful. How? Is this not the same Sarah that I've been warning you about? The same Sarah that I banned you from hanging out with all these years ago. Is it not? It was just a coincidence. Oh, a coincidence. Honestly. How am I supposed to believe that it was just a coincidence? I'm afraid it was. So you have been keeping contact with this girl all this while? No. I'm sure she must have lied to you. About how happy her marriage is. Fine tune you, radio with that battery so that I can start talking about your own marriage. Is that not it? Hmm? Fred, she didn't even tell me about her marriage. I saw her wedding ring and I, I was the one that asked. Oh, you are the one. You are very disrespectful too. Let's add that to the list. So you're trying to let me know that you actually sat down with somebody that I banned you from talking to, to have a protracted conversation. Maybe you started telling her about our own marriage. Abby? How I'm the devil and how all of those things. That's what was your story. I didn't say things like that. How would you even remember if you did? No, seriously, how would you remember? You that forgets things in a second, whether it's amnesia or amnesia pro max. Let me tell you, in case you have not realized. Look, I don't think you deserve me. I've stuck with you through thick and thin, through everything, and I'm still here. Hmm? Because let me be honest with you, you failed, ABA. You failed. Because I don't know which other man in the world that will stay with you under this very situation. Because you failed. You failed. I, 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 I thought there was a lot of potential with you. But you failed, my darling. You failed in everything. What did I say to deserve all these things? I didn't, I didn't tell her anything bad about you. It was just normal gist. I'm just saying, you start to behave like somebody that appreciates me. Come talking to my enemies, I'm talking to people that talk trash about me. Run into Sarah. She's married. Please, please. You want to be useful. That's if you remember how to.
Just carry go now. Nah. Abby, my sister. I'm blessed. Okay. Madam, madam, come talk to me. Wait till they are call. I've been waiting for you for that this one now. Mama.
to successfully change the narrative. He's not the victim in the public eye. Well, I have the tag of that insane mother and wife who her husband and her children can barely cope with. But um, even with how good Fred could hide his flaw, he probably wasn't happy with his conscience. So much that when I returned home, he knelt before me and apologized. Abby, I'm so sorry. Please, I'm begging you. Look, I know it's all my fault. I know I pushed you too hard. I know I, I, I didn't, I didn't correct you with love. But I know everything I did was pushing you to the to the edge of the edge. I, I, I know that I'm the reason for all of your pain. Ebi, please, I'm so sorry. I would never have imagined that I would push you into all of that. I don't, I don't know what must have gotten into me or what made me treat you like that. Okay, okay. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I would never do that again. I promise you I'm a changed man. I would never do that again to you. I don't know what I would do without you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. With those humble words of his, I had no choice than to forgive him instantly. He held me and oh, he cried. And we went on to make love afterwards. <laughs> it's what we always do. Love making with Fred after a fight is... <laughs> It's always beautiful. So I forgave him. Or maybe I, I shouldn't have because after this time, it got worse. Fred started keeping late nights. I started suspecting that he has been seeing someone else. He was always on the phone. Hi, dear. Hi. My curiosity led me to desperate measures. was right. But by the next morning, the messages had disappeared. 
that made me question my mental state all over again. Show me now. Show me the message that you said you saw. It was here. It was here. Oh, Just show me. No, quit up. Quit up. Maybe, maybe you are misplacing things. Quit up. Did you see the message? Why do you like making up things in your own mind and flying with it? It was here. Hey, show me now. Show me. You woke up in the morning and you want to show me that I'm cheating. Or oh, yeah, show me the message. Take. Show me. Show me. You need to get back on those medications. Because obviously it's starting to happen again. You're off your meds. Unsure of what to think of myself, I resorted into drinking. Where were you? What do you mean, where were I? Where were me? What are you talking about? You don't know you don't ask a man where he was. I called. I texted you over 100 times. You don't even care how I feel. You don't care if you Every place. I was out with my friends, okay? Or are you thinking I was, I was out with some imaginary lady again? Just look at you. What exactly is your problem? After accusing me of, of, of being something that I'm not. Now you are here, playing the victim card. Typical you, my friend. Just, 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 just take a good look at yourself. You are useless. Don't say that. No, you are. Don't say that. I, I'm just being honest. Don't say that. To no, me. no. Listen to me. Listen to me. Just listen to me. Very first sight of trouble, you run back to the bottom. You're an alcoholic. No, it's, maybe it's not even your fault. Maybe people are just being too hard on you. Maybe you're born this way. Maybe you, it's, it's, it's just innate. Okay? You're an alcoholic. No. <laughs> You gave me my first ever drink. You! Doctor, things are not getting better at all. Hmm. But she doesn't seem to be taking all our medications. And we agreed she'll stop drinking. After everything I've been through, Doctor, this is my life. I still love Fred. Mm. Hmm. This is serious. Madam, this is Stockholm Syndrome. You're still being attached to your abuser. <laughs> Madam, your husband is a narcissist. 
What's that, doctor? This is uh, what we used to qualify someone who exhibits selfishness, involving in the sense of entitlement, a serious lack of empathy, and a need for self-admiration. What are you talking about? Your husband exhibits all these patterns, madam. You see, I, I would have loved to make it clearer, assuming I have a hint into his background. Uh, what was his childhood like? He was raised by his single mother who saw him through school. Uh, his father? He doesn't like to talk much about his father. He <laughs> left him at birth. Mm. A victim of circumstance. You see, um, most of the children who are rejected by parents at childbirth or at a tender age suffer a trauma of rejection for a very long time. Some of them for the rest of their lives. No, but Fred has always exhibited confidence even from the first day we met. So much that you think, yeah, maybe so. But you see, most of these narcissistic patterns are put forward as a mirage. <sighs> Madam, most of the narcissists are abusive because they don't want to be abused by what they are afraid of. So they deliberately hurt their partners so much that they project their inadequacies on them. Wow. Fight back. Yes. Fight back for once. Let's watch your husband react. Mm -hmm. Back. How did you go with the therapist today? Fine. You know, I'm actually very proud of you. Hmm? I mean, you finally, on your own, came to terms with the fact that you are sick and that you need help. Because before it was as if we were pushing you, forcing you, and all of those things. Now you use your own hand you know, to take yourself to the therapist. That's, that's very good. And I hope that she starts with at least rescuing you from the bottle. As if it wasn't you that gave me my very first drink. <laughs> I always know this topic. Don't you get tired? Did I, did I give you, did I give you a bottle? Wasn't it a glass that I gave to you? And then you drove me to drink more. Fred, all my failures, Every single one of my failures, from my drinking habit to my failed music career, everything I blame it on you because I think you wanted me to be broken like you. You wanted me to be failure like you and rejected like you as well. Fact check. You can't even say those words to me. Doesn't make sense. All I have been to you, Ebi, is a supportive husband. I've been with you from the start. True, thick and thin. I'm still the one that is managing you. Managing? I've been here the whole time. It's not about how long you've been here, Fred. It's about how you have been with me, Fred. How you've been with me. You chased everything good away from my life. You chased my friends away, Fred. You took my career 
hear from me. You chased away my family, but thank God you didn't get away with it because family will always come through. Um, babe, it's, it's, it's not what you think. I feel maybe it's just all the drugs that you're taking that's, you know, oh in your head. Listen, listen. It's in my head. Babe, babe, I love you. Okay, I can't be the reason your career failed and you keep forgetting things and all of those things. I, I love you. Okay, I'm, I'm your husband. The problem is always me, right? Okay, friend, I'm leaving for good. Don't try to look for me. Babe, babe, wait, hold on. L look. Ah, babe, I've tried. I've tried to love you every way that I can. What do you mean by that you're leaving me? What of beauty? What of pale? How many years? You can't just wake up and leave. The therapist said you'd say so. <laughs> just to keep me. Can you say these things? Babe. Would you rather listen to your husband or some therapist that you pay to advise you? Seriously? You want to listen to your therapist? Yes. And it is you that needs help, Fred. Not me. Amen. Yeah, Baby. Baby. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. Ebiye, I am still. I am still the husband, and I call the shots. Ebiye, don't touch me like that. Where are you going? Don't even touch her. Uh, good evening, sister. We trusted you. So this is how you've been hurting my sister. not going to happen. Or is it the court proof otherwise? No, no, please, please, you can't take my children. Beauty, Pearl, come this way. You Ebi need help. You need to fix your head. Ebi 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 what are you trying to do? Coward. Can you say you let them come this way? I, I, I'm a coward, but, but, but listen, you, you can't take my children, Ebi. What are you trying to do? Don't even talk to me. Ebi, help. Ebi, Ebi, it's about money. You, you can't take my children. Well, don't you need court proof otherwise? Okay, sister, 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 please, please stop. stop. Please stop. <laughs> Where is your father? <laughs> Come on, who's your father? Shut up! <laughs> Having you has cost me my whole life. No one wants a single mother. Shut up. Sh shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Just fucking shut up! Are you too ugly for him? I'm sorry! I'm sorry, please! I never meant to be this guy. I never meant to be like this. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm so. I'm sorry. Just, just shut up. Just shut up. I'm doing okay. I'm not a coward. I'm not a coward. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll just. I'll just
Thinking you made it last. 